Am I wrong for just wanting to go there and no. play like with the kids? No. And join in it. on that? that we can so, all go and help know, them. Hats off to the museums like the Perot and so many others that look to the future Absolutely. and that are looking around the corner because that man, that's so inspiring. Science is cool. Yeah. It is cool. It really is. Even the science of weather. It's cool, literally. So the chief. Cool, yeah. <laughs> hey there, uh, Doug and Nicole. You know, as we go through the next few days, uh, this cold air is sticking around. So that we have another polar air surge on Friday. So we warm up a little bit. Cold front moves through sprinkles and maybe some flurries also on Friday night in the forecast and maybe some wet Thanksgiving travel uh, plans for you. So just keep that in mind. We'll walk you through all of that. Now, the first alert futurecast shows for tomorrow, 58 degrees. A lot of sunshine on the way. The clouds increase going into Thursday night and then into Friday. Cold front moving its way through. It's Slides its way down to the south. Now, I want to point out as we go into Friday night into Saturday, yeah, we make it to 49 degrees. We might see some sprinkles, maybe some snow flurries trying to mix in in the overnight hours into then Saturday morning. And then that activity works its way down to the south. We remain cold on Saturday. So we're watching for the flurries. We might see very light accumulations on grassy and elevated surfaces, mainly out on the west sides of North Texas. I don't expect any travel issues at all for the roads, no impacts. So just something we're watching and letting you know about. And those precip chances, they go up as we go into next week. Uh, by next Wednesday, rain chances around 60%. Let's walk you through that holiday travel forecast, just this long range look. And going into Wednesday, we start to see some scattered showers around into Thanksgiving. We can see at least on Thanksgiving morning uh, some rain in the forecast. Possibly uh, we might see a couple of storms popping up going into Thanksgiving night. There's quite some time between now and then. So we'll fine tune these details a little bit more. And then even for Friday when you're shopping, uh, some rain sticking around. Now, the next 10 days, we have this roller coaster ride of temperatures. Upper 40s Friday and Saturday after the front moves through. Low 50s to then the mid 50s and upper 50s closer towards Thanksgiving. And then our temperatures remain closer towards average going into the next week into the low 60s. Today we saw some high clouds moving their way over parts of North Texas, but some sunshine peaked out, allowing us to warm into the 50s. Right now we're at 49 degrees with a south-southwest wind at 8. We're at 50 still in Keller to 46 in Mesquite to 48 in McKinney. So the next few hours our temperatures are down to the low 40s by 11. We will see temperatures overnight tonight into tomorrow morning with clear skies, relatively light winds, back down to the 30s, even the upper 20s in a couple of spots. Into the afternoon hours, we make it up to about 58 degrees into the afternoon for tomorrow. Extended forecast shows that we're going to be seeing, yes, that roller coaster ride of temperatures. The precip chance on Friday night is 20% to then 10%. Sunday morning, 31 degrees. So you need that winter coat around and then keep the coats and umbrellas handy for you as we go into next week, closer towards Thanksgiving.